Yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber. So we're gonna get into this really quickly, and then we're gonna, you know, answer the question. All right, so this one says, Hey, Mr. Locario, I live in Europe. I think you are the best dating coach out there. Thanks for the compliment. Appreciate it. And I really appreciate your work. And I want to thank you for all your valuable advice. Um, my question is, is it right or wrong to forgive a woman's disrespectful behavior if you know that she has done this because she feels that you ignored her? And my second question is, um, is overanalyzing every woman's behavior a thing that can improve my game? I have a tendency to overanalyze uh, the flirt and dating process with every new woman I meet out there. I'm 29 years old. Tall, 6'3", and very good-looking guy, but it seems that um, a lot of women play mind games nowadays. Even though I'm handsome, a very handsome guy, in most cases, women, they only want to take some sort of validation and attention from me. So a lot of times I catch myself um, overanalyzing things in order to understand uh, their motivations behind their actions. Recently, I've had some great time with a woman... Um, with our first date, but I didn't escalate with her for having sex because she didn't want to even kiss me. After that, I went no contact. I stopped texting her, um, calling her, and then she acted very disrespectful towards me because she said to her female friend that I'm a sucker who has a crush on her. Now, um, here's the thing. I, ju I justified her actions and her disrespectful behavior because I considered that I consider that I hurt her by ignoring her after our date. So my question is, is it right or wrong to forgive a woman's disrespectful behavior if you know her motivations and if you understand that she has done this because she feels that you're ignoring her? And my second question is, uh, sh is should I overanalyze women's behavior so that I can improve my game? All right. So, dude. A woman being disrespectful is never okay, ever, okay? It's it's not okay. See, it's one thing if, you know, like, and, and this is the thing, if you're doing something um, to disrespect her, you understand, and she's defending herself because you're disrespecting her, you're doing something crazy to her, you understand, that's her defending herself. That's not her being disrespectful, right? If you're doing something, you know, out of pocket or, or crazy and she's like responding to that and she's responding in a way where it's kind of like, you know, aggressive or negative or whatever, like it is like that. She's responding to that thing. But her being disrespectful, it, there's no reason for her to be disrespectful. And especially in this situation here, um, you basically said you went on this date with the chick. Uh, you were you were you wanted to you know escalate it sexually, but she wouldn't even kiss you, right? So the fact that she didn't kiss you, you kind of fell back and was like, whatever. You understand? So her feeling a certain way about that, about you not calling her back, that's on her. You understand? You didn't do anything wrong by not calling her back. You don't have to call the chick back. You don't have to give her your attention. You give her your attention because you want to give her your attention. The fact that she didn't kiss you. Right. You're you, you know, it's showing that she's not uh, putting in that effort or she doesn't have that much of a, you know, a desire to deal with you because she didn't kiss you. So you're just like, fuck it. I'm not going to holler at you. See, I'm the same way. If I'm on a date with a chick and she doesn't kiss me. I'm, I'm pretty much done. You understand what I'm saying? So you, she didn't kiss you. You didn't hit her up. And now she's sort of uh, being disrespectful towards you because she feels you're ignoring her. You understand? And the thing is this. I would basically charge that chick to the game because if she's, one, not kissing you, you know, doing that, and then on top of that, she's getting upset and disrespecting you because she thinks that you're ignoring her. You understand? That right there's a red flag. You don't even really know this chick and she's already, and she's basically disrespecting you um, because of you not hitting her up. You understand? That's, that's kind of crazy, right? Now, for your second um, question, you were saying that, you know, should you overanalyze um, women to improve your game? You understand? Now, the thing is this. You should sort of 
take a step back and analyze women just in general, you understand, and also analyze how you interact with women so that you can learn more about how you are when you're dealing with women and all that other stuff. But a lot of times when you are interacting with women in the moments, right, unless you are at a point where you are really interacting with a lot of different women and you're getting the hang of talking to girls and interacting with them and doing all this other stuff. When you, when you get to that point where you're, you're, you got the hang of it, then you can sort of, you know, um, basically like analyze it within that moment. What I would say right now though, is I would say what you want to do is, is that you want to get yourself like a wingman and then he comes along with you as you're interacting with girls and say you meet girls at the bar, you're talking to them or whatever. So you sort of, you know, study the game and then you, you know, talk to these girls, hit them up and everything like that and have your wingman sort of see what you're doing and he can say, oh, you know, I noticed you be doing this, I noticed you be doing that. And the thing, I, the reason why I'm telling you to have your wingman do it is because you want to be totally in the moment as you're interacting with the girl. Now, once you get good at interacting with the girls, you understand, then you can do what the wingman was going to do with yourself. So then you can interact with them and at the same time, sort of analyze what you're doing, you understand? But that takes uh, a lot of skill to be able to be in the moment, analyzing a lot of these different things, and then, you know, jump back into the moment to do the thing you need to do, you understand? So this is what I'm saying at first, get yourself a wingman to check what you're doing. Then after that, once you start getting good at interacting with girls, then you can sort of check yourself, you understand? But it takes a lot of skill to be able to do that all at once while you're interacting with the girl. But for now, I would just say interact with these chicks, get your wingman to, to, to analyze it and to see what it is. The thing is, you don't wanna you don't wanna overanalyze too much because a lot of times when you start overanalyzing things, you start to um, you know, you're not really in the flow of the moment, you're not really um seeing what is really going on because you're nitpicking at every little thing. You're not really stepping back and seeing patterns or seeing different things that are happening. You understand? So the thing is, you can analyze it, but you don't want to be too crazy with it because then now you're taking yourself out of the moment and you're basically, you know, nitpicking at every little thing and not really focusing on what you're doing at that moment to actually get from point A to point B. You understand? So, you know, at the end of the day, I would say with this chick, I would say you need to charge her to the game for the fact that she's basically um, disrespecting you, you understand? And then when it comes to analyzing the game, you know, you want to definitely analyze what's going on. But right now, you just want to be in and you know, study the game, then do what you got to do and have a friend help you out, a wingman help you out. And then as you get better with it, then you can be able to analyze this shit on your own. You feel what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Um, guys, if you have any more questions, make sure you click the link below. And I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.